Hey everybody, this is my wife's tank and tonight we are going to get in here and do a water change and I'm going to pull a lot of the floating plants out of there. That's why this tank looks so dingy and dark right now. The glass underneath of the lights might have a bunch of growth uh, and nasty stuff growing on it. I just put a new bulb on the left side and it's a really bright bulb uh, so that additional light might be causing more uh, algal growth than I was anticipating. So I'm in kind of a hurry tonight. I've had a lot going on this week and this is just something I want to get done. So I'm not going to make a big deal out of this video. We're just going to do a simple before and after. And in fact, from what I'm seeing in my viewfinder here, we're not getting a whole lot uh, to look at on the before because of the darkness down there in the bottom of the tank. So there you go. There's a good look at it. Uh, not a lot going on other than a bunch of plants we're going to remove a bunch of them, do a simple water change, and then we're going to go ahead and look at your after in just a moment here. All right, and there's your after. So I wound up getting in there and getting a lot of water sprayed out of there. It was growing in a lot thicker than I thought, and a lot of the pieces were larger than I thought, and they had been growing up into the hood and pushing themselves down into the tank, and that's why it was getting so dense in there. So I pulled a bunch of that out. I wound up pulling a bunch of the um, java fern that was attached over here to the right. I moved a bunch of that out of the way, so I opened all of this area up, and I pulled a bunch of java moss that was growing in there off of the bottom and off of some of the rocks, and then, of course, I pulled any uh, dead growth or anything like that out of there. So I really opened it up quite a lot and got a lot of light back in the tank. I wiped the front glass down, but I did not actually get in and look underneath the hood to see if the uh, light was being blocked. I honestly didn't really feel like I needed to. I didn't even think about it once I got a bunch of that water sprite out of the way. So the water sprite is lace leaf water sprite, and I've got a whole bucket full of it, and I've got java fern and java moss in there too. So I will put my email down below if you're interested uh, I've got lots of java fern, lots of water sprite, and I've even got some java fern windelove. I've even got a little bit of anubius right now. So if you're interested in some aquatic plants, uh, check out my email down below and contact me and we can talk about uh, what you want and how to get it to you and so on and so forth. So the other thing I want to point out uh, before I get on with whatever else I got to get done tonight is I've noticed that since everybody's down near the bottom feeding, I've thrown some algae wafers in there to get it down uh, to my catfish and stuff on the bottom. And I've got a lot of bunch of little baby or young, I should say, neon sword tails in there. I knew I had the male and the female over here. And of course, she's always pregnant with the male in the tank. And a lot of the little babies apparently survived life with an angelfish, I guess in that really, really dense, heavy uh, plant cover they were able to survive and now you can see I've got quite a little group of the neon sword tails going on in there so they might get moved around I might put a few of them in some other tanks I don't know we'll see I've been talking about doing that for a long time but I've still not gotten around to doing it so there you go short video tonight as I said it's been a hectic week I got a lot going on and it ain't over yet I've still got a couple more days worth of hecticness uh, to deal with and then hopefully we'll get back into a little more of a routine. So thanks for watching this one Make sure you're subscribed. You don't want to miss anything I got coming up uh, You never know what it's going to be with me and then don't forget of course that this one here is my wife's tank So thanks again for watching and I will see you real soon in the next one